Wow, this pawn looks really good. <gasps> what the fuck? Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video today. Today, I'm going to tell you guys, show you the eggs that this, this spotted turtle had over the weekend when I was gone. And I'm going to sh be showing you the setup that I made that I found on YouTube for it. This girl, I just got a little bit ago, and she already had eggs. You going to go in? She's been really liking this enclosure, and there you go, and she hasn't been able to escape yet, which is great. Let me see here. I don't know how the fuck she's going, picking up anything like that, but she is way down there. Like I said, I just got her a couple of uh, weeks ago. She already laid eggs. She already laid five eggs for me. We're going to go downstairs and show you guys the setup that I had and how I did it. And hopefully in about like 60 to 100 days, we'll have a bunch of baby spotted turtles. That'd be awesome. Uh, I'll bring you guys inside and I'll go in the basement now. This is where I currently bring the spotted turtle in the nighttime. Has his heat lamp, has his water. Before this weekend, this um, cement bucket was actually filled up with water. And I didn't film anything because I was really in a hurry and trying to rush to save these eggs. But this was filled probably about halfway with water and a heat lamp. And I came down and I found five eggs in there. And now the guy I got it from in multiple YouTube videos I figured out a solution that should hatch these eggs in a nice cheap way. I was thinking about buying, seriously thinking about buying like a real incubator, but for right now I just did this because um, I was like I had no idea this was going to lay eggs. So what we got here, as you can see there's a little bit of water, see on the outside water, and then there's a tile right there, and the tile always has to be above the water, which it is, and there's a 15 gallon little heater in this tub. Now you see it's all drilled out, got a bunch of holes and everything like that. I'm really hoping these eggs are going to pull through. Now, I didn't get vermiculite or anything like that. I just used soil. And they're not, they don't look too bad. Main thing is, though, you don't want... Yeah, see, that's not really that good. I don't see anything right now, but you don't want any water droplets on them. Or then they will be bad. Now, I'm hoping for them to pull through, but this is my first time... Um, dealing with eggs so I don't really know what's gonna happen but they all look good so far and I really hope that they'll come through but um, I'll keep you guys updated on them for sure I'm gonna put this all back together thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one peace